is everybody just cool and fuckable these days? Yeah. Also, can you be my dad? Dun-dun-dun, dun not this is Stiff Socks. And anything else you're listening to is probably wrong because it's not Stiff Socks. We're the number one podcast in the world, fact-checked by nobody but ourselves. Got them. Also, we're the number one touring comedians in the world. Not true. <laughs> Maybe in the top thousands but we're up there guys yeah. the are you that guy tour is my very own theater tour and we are live now you already missed pre-sale because you were pre-fucking coming pre-coming <laughs> <laughs> pre-come that's how we were made as babies but guys 28 cities 27 i don't know too many to count out now trevorwallscomedy.com i am coming to a lot of states it's wherever you are in the world the u.s you could probably drive there i want to go to brazil yeah. Take me to Brazil. Go get tickets. TrevorWallsComedy.com theater tour doing some insane places like the Vic in Chicago. We're doing the Wilbur in Boston, the Novo in Los Angeles. Just places that m make me very intimidated, but it's going to be a fucking blast, dude. Can't wait to see you guys there. And let's fucking go, dude. Michael Blaustein. Michael Blaustein on tour as well. I will be in San Diego December 9th. I will be in Sacramento January 23rd. I will be in Philadelphia February 3rd. I will be in NYC. That is New York City for people who don't uh, know things. At the Gramercy Theater on February 5th. Tickets are going so hurry the F up. And then February 6th I will be in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, go to BlauComedy.com for tickets. Oh, also, we're going to reveal at the end of the episode what we have decided to do for the 8,000 Patreon goal. So, stick around and you will find out. Splat. I'd like you to say a frog is the same thing as an amphibian. A frog is an amphibian? Just choose a lane. A frog is an amphibian. These scientists are all the fuck over the place. Are salamanders real? I don't think so. Also, let me say this. Are nematodes only in SpongeBob? What the hell did you say to me? A nematode. 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 That's a real thing? Nematode. Ne is a nematode a real thing? So wait, what happened earlier on? A uh, princess licked a toad and it became a prince? Can Correct. you imagine? What? You'd be like, hey, lick this. It'd be a hot whore. No. Yeah, you gotta be on some ketamine to be like, that frog awesome. might, might make me act up. Also, I didn't think about this though, right? this very moment there are some frogs that you lick and you have like a like an acid sort of like yeah response. the poisonous ones so is that what the whole thing was kiss the frog maybe it was a the wow well, the whole thing that, was a hallucination but also how do these motherfuckers go down on their girl without tripping balls maybe, they, maybe that's what it is exactly like, you, ever, you ever eat some fucking tree frog cooter oh shit some tree frog cooter I would, do. He's trying to explain it to his friends. He's like, oh, I was down there, man. This shit tasted like raspberry Skittles. So, like, they don't even make that. Like, they do now. And all of a sudden, she turned into a badger. Because you'd be... Dude. Are badgers only school mascots, or are they really out here? I think they're real things. They're really out here. Yeah, I think they're they're actually pretty scary in real life, too. Badgers? You know yeah, what's I a very... See that. You know what's a scary thing? A mongoose. Mongoose. Oh, yeah. Mongoose is like fight uh, lions. I just made that up. But I feel like they're, like, pretty, like... They're small, but they, like, fuck things up. Mongoose? A mongoose. The speed of a mongoose. Cool. Yeah, that. That's a badger. Yeah. Whoa, badger dude. That's like intimidating. Bear. Yeah. It looks like a yappy dog mixed with a gorilla. Look Anybody? at those teeth, bro. What do you do if you're a dog owner and your dog just pops off of everybody that walks by? Is that Greta? It's pretty... Well, Greta's actually getting better. Yeah. The trainer's really helping. Mm -hmm. You know what this looks like to me? A skunk on D-ball. <laughs> Yeah, it does look just a yacked up fucking skull. You know what scares me is kimono dragons. Those motherfuckers <laughs> got biceps for no reason. It's not a dragon. They Were kind dragons of the real? <laughs> <laughs> We're just questioning everything, bro. Look at that third picture on the right. He got biceps for no fucking reason. Ever, oh, this one? Yeah, Jesus, it's just rocked up. Yeah, no you see reason. these things in, in nature documentaries, and you're like, that's a fucking. Well, you see these in nature documentaries, and you're like, what gets this? What makes this guy happy? Like, I'll what, tell like, you. Look at that ever, tongue. Yeah, you look see, at like, look at ass. He, like looks at, there you go. But do you think he like sees the sun goes down? He's like, oh, it's a beautiful day. Or or animals like that always just like kill, 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 kill. I think it's, I think little animals walk around kill, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. And they smell with their tongue. Ooh, do they? A lot of them. That's why that's why snakes always stick their tongue out. They smell with their tongue. But uh, what about their eyes? What? Use your eyes, you idiot. Nose. Oh smell! <laughs> I'm so stupid. Are you awesome right now? Bro? I wish I was. Hold on. But you smell with your tongue, which makes sense because you taste with your tongue, but it's like their nose is just a prop. It's like, you know how girls have pockets in their jeans, but they don't have pockets in their jeans? I hate that. 
Can you hold my phone? But I will say the 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 jeans with the the there's no pockets on the back. Yeah. The, they're always uh, they're always blue. They're always like the blue jean ones. Yeah. They're sometimes like a bell bottom. I don't know what it is. When you take away the pocket, there's another pocket that shows up a little more. You got ass cheeks. They do. No pocket jeans, I will say. It just, ass. Well, there's nothing. Uh, the, the pocket's not sort of in the way. So it's really I know, but it's molding. like it, but somehow it's like pockets should make it look like you have more ass. It's you adding. Have, you ever have a pocket trick you? Huh? When she has a phone back there and you're like, yo, she's caked out. And then she takes her phone out and you're like, that's just a Galaxy. Yeah, but like, what kind of phone has she got back no, there? That's what I'm saying. The Samsung Galaxy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're like, wow. Did, did you have girls in your high school like stuff their bra? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah, you take it off and it just a fucking a, a bunch of Kleenexes comes yeah. off. Yeah. You're like, this is perfect. This is for a cum rag. Yeah, I was like, you idiots. Why would you believe in that? I used to just take a, a flashlight that my parents hid for like fire drills in my pants, but you know. Did you I, guys ever, did you ever stuff your pants? I, d I thought about it for sure. I, I thought I about definitely like, tried it. I don't think I've ever actually would, worn it out. Well, I would see the dudes in like the Macy's catalog and they were like wearing their boxers. I'd be like, is that all natty? And then I would like pack my boxers right. when I was younger and be like, is this what it's supposed to look like? I will say though, you look at a lot of those Macy's catalogs with those guys. Now, as an adult, you're like, it's not even, you're not doing too much there. Really? Yeah. They, they doing. Really? Two they, thoughts here, two thoughts okay. here. Okay. One, I was watching this show with, with the lady, Netflix show. It's called like Sex Life. Have you heard of it or seen it? Uh, Sex, I think it's an HBO show, but yes, I know what you mean. I haven't <clears> seen it. It's on one of these horny streaming apps, but she's watching it and she goes, yeah, this show got me rocked. Like just fucking, oh, hot and bothered the other night. I masturbated to it and I was like, oh, God damn. Put this shit on. On now. And then within like maybe five minutes of the first scene, yeah. they show this hot dude, good hair, has scruff, is Australian. Yeah. And they show his dick. No lie, it looked like a smart water bottle. It like Fuck. flaccid. Flaccid. See, you can't I then you can't watch the show anymore. No. Hey I'm baby, like, I, it, yeah, the show's know, done. I was like, now I know why you like the show. Goodbye. Pornhub.com backslash come. I will be there. Does that does a does a, this is a crazy question? I to me I understand uh like face hair jawline scruff body, but a dick is is not it doesn't it's not aesthetically pleasing for you for well for I you I think a lot of people for you for so you're, you should have seen how my girl acted up oh no I ain't never seen a remote slip out of her hand so quick because it was slippery from the sweat you think she put it in there. <laughs> Dude, this shit literally, you ever had a Jersey Mike subway or like a, a sub from there that's uh -huh. been wrapped up too long? It's all like wet and damp and watery. Oh, shit. I'm getting hard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm hard. Why do you think I'm sitting like all this? All right. But it would, dude, he literally, like, it, it had to be CGI. This I'm, shit looked like it was Are you the looking left at it again? Arm. I'm not looking at the uh, actual dick, but I'm looking at a picture of the, was this like a shower scene? Yeah. So there's a, there's a picture of the shower scene, yeah. and then there's a bunch of comments on it where it's like people are saying, Look, I gotta say, I, I grew up with him. I know this guy. I, I'm from the same town as him. It's not special effects. It's real. It's like wow. the story is following around. People for a long start time. bringing up hometown stories about how big your dick is. That's how you know you got a big dick. Yeah. Dude, there was a good dude in my high school I was friends with. We were called, well, I already brought this up oh, on the podcast. I, his name is Stretch. I mean, bruh, your what? name is Stretch. Like, he's peh keen. I oh was just like, God. I can't even, same basketball team. I was like, I thank God we're not on the same team that we are. You know those weird high school things where like, oh, we're all going to shower together? First of all, don't do that. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Everyone just showers Dude, our together? our coaches had a, a view of the men's shower. They had just a glass window that looked directly at the showers. All right. Well. Jail. Everyone. Jail. <laughs> Literally. PE coaches, all of them jail. If PE coaches need to be put on a lie detector test daily. Have your can nipples we, ever got hard watching your students run or do uh, jumping jacks? Jail. Can I say this? Why was there a window watching the showers? Well, it, so it like they were up above and they looked. Oh, it, dude, it's on some like almost like a prison yard shit. They were up above. That's what I'm And imagining, they yeah. looked over the whole locker room, but in the back was straight shot of the showers. So you're just, you're just seeing young ass. 
I, I wasn't seeing it. I never. Did you ever shower? No. Never. Dude, I would run the mile, be sweaty and stinky, and then I would just go sit in home ec. Yeah, who the hell are these people with that much confidence? They're just going up, just nobody, showering. Nobody ever in PE did. It was only like football players. Yeah, because I, I remember that being a thing that I was afraid of going into middle school, Me where too. I was like, everyone's going to be showering the locker rooms. Yeah. No one, no one did it. I'm pretty sure I brought uh, board shorts mm -hmm. to PE like the first day, being like, <laughs> just in case. Oh, yeah, there's no way. But what are these people with that much confidence that are showering all together? Even if you're like a football player, like you just, you just Probably know. Probably this dude. This, like, what, oh, what else well, are they saying yeah. about? I mean, this, yeah, <clears> this is the him. guy. He's Australian. But we were talking about it later. I guess they show a shot of him and he has a tattoo, but in the shower scene, he doesn't have a tattoo. Can I say this? What? I, maybe I'm just not getting like a model shot right now. Doesn't do it for me. Really? He's, Yay, yeah, he does it for me, I, Honestly, do you think this guy's got a free for promo for fucking HBO or whatever? Like, there's, dude, if you have articles written about how big your dick is, you're doing something right. I'm going to bring this up again. Kevin Bacon has a dick shot in one of these movies that I can't remember. Uh -huh. It is, uh, it's like an armadillo. <laughs> but, dude, the shot for this, it's just straight up dong. And there's a cinematographer who had to rack focus on a cock and be like, uh, one more time. Uh, your mark you really missed your mark and it's just flaccid and it's just hanging there it looks like a sloth on a day off just really just fucking letting it hang bring it up the uh, fact that Google it's not it. on this screen yet Literally is upsetting type in, if you go to twitter he's probably on there while you're googling that i have a question <clears throat> why and am it's, i hard? It's, it's yeah it's very fitting for this topic <clears throat> are gray sweatpants a push-up bra for your cock yes yeah yeah, the answer is yes. In, I, <clears throat> if you're okay, my my which I've we've all wear gray sweatpants. Why after, are you so nervous over there? I'm not. So, I'm just trying to gather all my thoughts. I'm. Just, I mean, there's a okay. lot of cock talk, and I'm just like cock trying to gather. Talk. Welcome the, to the podcast. Yeah, which is episode nine thousand. You're like, whoa, a lot of <laughs> cock on here. So I, I the answer is yes. Still nervous. No, the answer is yes. I'm trying to formulate this thought without being like whatever. Have you after sex? Cock That's looks the, phenomenal. Oh yeah, but my body is never looks, pump after you hit the gym and you're and you're like walking to your car in the parking lot. Yeah, and you catch a glimpse in the reflection of your biceps and you're like, "That's me." We're, Somebody asked me with their their shopping cart. I got you. Yeah, you just pray that your ex girlfriend walks by. Oh my god, Mike. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask you this though. We're gonna get back to this Grace Wayfan question. It just spoke sparked my uh, memory when you're walking by a car and you're yacked up after the gym. Do you look extra big? Is there something weird with the reflection of like a car window that so. you look? Okay, I think because it's like on a tail. Yeah, I because think it I, gives you an extra little. I I, I walk degrees. by and I go, I'm I'm a superhero. Yeah, like there's no way that I look like this to yeah. other people. I walk by and I go, I'll fuck that Miata in the mouth. One hundred percent. Yeah, where's that Mini Coop? I'll put my dick right in the tailpipe. You want to see this guy's dick? Thank just, God. Just, just a sec. So I've experienced gray sweatpants looking incredible after me post bang. Yeah. But normally, I'm not going to lie, when I put a pair of gray sweatpants on, my first thought is, oh, these are what are supposed to look good on fucking dudes. Right. And I'm like, I look like a Ken doll. Yeah. Why don't I get a push-up bra for my cockiness? Well, that's what I was thinking. Because if a girl puts on a push-up bra, she's like, oh, shit. It always looks the good. The girls are out to play. Yeah. But with the gray sweatpants, you know, you're like, is it an angle thing? Is it a filter? Yeah, I. I Is it Cephia? Sometimes I just try to like. I, sometimes I'll do a little dance and try to like swing, swung it up, so it, it gives me some type of like effervescence in the dick, and it it doesn't like. If I'm not post sex, I don't got bulge. Like I'm not out here with bulge. You out here with bulge? Clip it. Anyways, I think. <laughs> but is it just gray, or, or is it any light colors? I think it might be like colors, but I think gray I, for the most yeah. part. I think dudes gray only have two. has never really been popular, and then one dude found out his dick looked fourteen percent bigger, and then they're like, "Run it!" I hate T-shirt warehouse. Run it. I hate on TikTok when dudes are just swang, swang, and slang, slang, and their pee pee with gray sweatpants all over the goddamn place. Oh, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. But I'm saying, I say fuck once on yeah. my TikTok and like cancel, delete. Oh right, right, right. What the hell? And the gray sweatpants are sitting in the closet, like God damn it, just just let me live for a day. God damn. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, yeah. you're going to sleep terrible. It's simple. The proof is in the pudding. But wouldn't you rather sleep on something that's soft as pudding? And that's where purple comes into play. Let's go. That's because only purple mattresses have the gel, gel flex, flex grid. grid. It's a super stretchy, ultra squishy material that adapts and flexes around pressure points and doesn't retain heat. Who the hell wants to sleep hot? 
Not me unless I'm banging it out. The Gel Flex Grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips, no matter how and emotions. you sleep. Okay, unlike memory foam, which remembers everything. Everything. Boo, I'm an elephant. Fuck you. Thanks to the Gel Flex Grid, purple mattresses bounce right back and move and shift when you move and shift. Okay, you'll never have that. I'm stuck. Step, bro. <laughs> Feeling. <laughs> When you know people get from memory foam, right? And dude, you've seen these pearl mattresses, they're swagged out. They have the grids, like they, they just they look futuristic, bro. They, they sent, look like they should have been on Futurama. They sent us, they, it, it's almost like sleeping on a really, really, really comfortable waffle, yeah. Yeah, they no, sent us the pillows, they sent us the mattress. I, I'm, I'm sleeping great, yeah. Mattress and pillow combo. My, I'm sleeping, dude. I went, I slept. New York was a travesty. I got no sleep. Oh, yeah. I got no sleep. I got no sleep. I came back to the purple mattress and the purple goddamn pillow. Your boy went to sleep 8.15 yesterday. Woke up at 8 o'clock. I can't do math. That's a lot of hours. All right? 12 hours. I, okay. Well, 11 hours and 45 Whoa, minutes. Einstein. But I felt phenomenal when I woke up, okay? Thanks to Purple Mattress, okay? So you can try your Purple Mattress risk-free with free shipping, ah, damn, free shipping and returns. Financing is available too, okay? Getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get a Purple Mattress. Go to purple.com slash socks and use code socks. For a limited time, you can get 10% off any order of $200 or more, dude. That's purple.com slash socks. Code socks. 10% off any order more than $200. Like, dude, that's... 10% and, and these are quality. So you're saving some yeah. good money here. Yeah. This isn't, this ain't no cheap stuff. This is good stuff. And I mean, they ship it to you. That's great. Free. I mean, you don't got to go to a Sealy or a Sorta. I'm like, Ugh, what's this one do? What's that? Send it. Send it. Send it. Ladies Pro and gentlemen, terms apply. Promo code socks. Promo.com slash socks. Promo code socks. God damn. Speaking of massive dongs, uh, Gabe? Yeah, you guys want to see this it. guy's dick? Dude, I, I, I've already seen it. I have traumas about it. All right, so I could only find this on um, a gay porn, porn site called famousmales.com. Thank um, God. So it's not going to be the Michael video. after this. You ever search your friends on Pornhub? Huh? You ever search your friends on Pornhub? Search my friends. A very close friend of mine is on Pornhub. Well, now very, what I know we're going to talk about very next. Very close friend of mine. What do you just put? Okay, never mind. Go ahead. All right, so this is uh, a so series of screen captures from the show. Fuck yeah. Um, so here we go. This is just getting ready to get uh, in the shower. towel next. Well, first of all, the ad on the left, British and uncut. I'm fucking <laughs> in, bro. Dude, British and uncut. The guy just slowly flossing his fucked up teeth. Uh, um, cut it. All right, so <laughs> Hold on. Dude, no. This, go so, slower, no, no, dude. No. So this guy showering on the left. So it's the whole premise of the show. Yeah. All these shows that my girlfriend watches just make me terrified of my career. Because mm -hmm. all, all the dudes that like get cheated on are guys who are like too busy at work or like working. And then the wife goes and fucks somebody else, right? Yeah, don't, I mean, don't bring this up. And, this and is then, terrible for us. And then I'm about to go into like a fucking five month tour. And I'm like, there's men out there with cocks and Australian accents. First of all, have you ever seen anybody in, Aust in, in <clears throat> with an Australian accent in Los Angeles who's not hot? No. It, well, I don't think they let them in. I think they they go they go to Every their stupid Australian. didgeridoo fucking yeah. airport and they go hello I would like to go to uh, Australia might be a little more UK than Australian hey I can't do it yeah. hello I like to go fucking Every America Every time I hear an Australian accent I turn and I go let me guess a hot person and I dude. turn around and my dick's out yeah <laughs> dude, dude Every hot person there with is, an Australian accent lives in Los Angeles There is a bar in actually is it New York yes there's a bar in New York LA and New York yeah same thing in New York, that is owned by an Australian gentleman who is fucking bad. Who and only Australians go there. It is, it, I mean, you can't, it's it's literally like it's just a bunch of walking gray sweatpants. It's just yeah. the, it's their hair is perfect all the time. No one in Australia balds. No, no. Uh, uh. There's there's no hair out of place. Or maybe they do. They just keep them there. I want to go to Australia because I can talk exactly like I'm talking right now, and they'd be like, "Oh fuck, it's like a hot American." Yeah, they think. They're yeah. they're they're fine over there. They just think about it. They bring they're not gonna bring some fucking gargle over here if you want to make it. You know what I mean? You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm a character actor. I'm so horny I'd fuck anything. I'd go. Let's go. Okay. First okay. Of all, right, so, so this isn't so the guy. To, this is another guy. So this is the husband. So backstory: the mm -hmm. husband is the guy with the short hair. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who's always working, and the wife is having like these fantasies of a relationship with a guy she used to date back in the city. That's big cock, Australian guy. 
and she wrote it in her diary journal but it's like online it's like bitch hold on like a blog but it's it, she writes it to herself in like a microsoft word be original write in a this book this is just sex in the city didn't sex in the city write in a journal is it sex in the city or sex and the city is it in i think sex in the sex and the city i think sex in the city do we know? Uh, Anyways, dude. So the husband uh, reads the journal and is like, oh, my wife's been thinking about this guy yeah. that they used to have relationships eight years ago. They both live in New York. Hot people. New York. There you go. And so he like follows him to the gym to like, he's like building up courage to like confront him. And then he sees him at the gym and he, and he sees the massive dong. Yeah. Gabe, roll the go. dick. <laughs> So that's a, the, okay, the slow, husband, slow, slow, but the, slow. But the husband's got cakes. He's caked up. That's what I'm saying. I mean, look, look, I mean, look, look at this but guy. But he's got strong five three energy. So, oh, really? I mean, his head goes to the shower. I mean, you don't know how big the shower is. It's talking about a short guy, I'm like, you don't know I how mean, big. It, 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 his eyes are at the fucking the conditioner. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> dude, just wait. He's caked up. He's caked All up. Right, here we go. But dude, oh, just wait. Here we go. The Australian guy, dude. It is honestly. I thought it was CGI because he has no ass. For, like, his ass is awful. So he has no ass. He's like one of the girls who has like massive titties, but not a lot of ass. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'd be as a woman, preferably. We know. But so keep going. Is it dude, weird? Dude, they turn, they turn, and it, we're getting there. Keep going. What? Stop. Dude, don't like, reveal no, 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 it. No, they yet. punch in. They punch in. Punch in. They punch you in. You can't punch. No, no, the next angle is punched in. Dude, you don't Macro, have. Macro, cinema cameras. <laughs> no. You don't have enough megapixels to to, to fit this fucking cock in. Dude, go to the dude. What? Zoom in. In the absolute fuck is that? That's real. <laughs> I got to it's it's okay, here's the thing. When you look at that, you go, "What now? What do I do now? What do I go home to my girl and hey, do you enjoy this? She enjoys the NFL." I didn't want to fucking know, dude. I didn't want to know this existed. That's not even a fucking dude, cock. That's, that's a baby's saying. arm. That's a baby's arm. She's she's watching the show. She's like, "Yo, I masturbated too." I was like, "Fuck yeah, turn it on." Maybe we'll both get all aroused. Now I'm just insecure. Uh, you have to be. You ever give your dick a pep talk in bed? She's like, "Who are you talking to?" I was like, uh, "Siri." No, dude. Gabe, the, I, the I fact mean, that is, we're still dude. not on it is crazy. Thank you. you. Understand? It, if I was falling off the Empire State Building and I had one wish, I'd wish for a dick that I could just grab onto. I'm gonna be honest. That dick pays taxes. Yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah. He needs to order two Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> A vasectomy. The doctor would look at that and be yeah. like, "Can't, can't." And and then to like try and make me feel better, she goes, "Well, he's probably a shower, not a grower." It, AKA he gets hard and just elevates, but it, even that hard. Dude, I mean, come on. That soft. Is as big as my leg. You know how back in the day used to throw their coat over a puddle for a girl to walk uh -huh. over? He could just throw his dick over any mud and be like, go ahead. Do you think he's ever had an argument with a girl? <laughs> in the history of his life. You can't do it, blah, blah, and just takes his cock out. Dude, just just steamboat of a dick. That's, it's, it's not, it's like, it, it's not, that dick knows how to speak other languages. Babbel.com, look at this fucking cock. Yeah. He it's, has more, he, he, there's, let me tell you something. There's more than two balls in there. <laughs> <laughs> there's right? a residency in right? there. The chain smokers play there every Saturday. Dude, I mean, it's, it's. He's, and he's scaped up too, manscaped.com. He's got socks. the V's too. So you yeah. know he's piping. I mean, that the V's point down to his cocky. So what happens is the oh, husband sees that. And starts and sucking then, it. <laughs> That's what but I would then, do. Then big dong Daryl over here. Yeah. Uh, ends up just turning off the, sh he literally shows. And what, what's fucked up is the guy ends up knowing who the husband is. So I think this was a, a power move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, so look at turns. the way he turns. Yeah. He's here and then boom. Dude. You know? I mean, dude, yeah, he I, looks like a character you'd find drawn on like a like a random history book. Like page 67, some horny anime oh, yeah, yeah, girl yeah. would dude, like draw this. Look at that thing. No. Gray sweatpants don't even do justice for this. He is gray sweatpants. Gray. You think he can fit that in pants? <laughs> First of all, let me tell you something. He needs a great sleeping bag, right? <laughs> yeah. He has a, what's those say? Get it off the screen, No, game. leave it. He has a fucking, he can't even use a goddamn condom. He has to use a fucking poncho. What's this guy's cock name? is insane. The fact that you just took mail. it off the fucking screen, dude. What's his name? Uh, Adam, a new Adam Demos. D Demos. D-E-M-O-S.
demolition cock is what I would call him in high yeah, school. Yeah, one million followers. Oh my, How his, many followers does Instagram, cock have? Okay, here's how horned up my head is. His Instagram bio says Gong Boy, but I, I literally just immediately thought it said Dong Boy. Because that would make sense. He why got is, a dong and a half. Why is it Gong Boy? I don't know. I'm gonna, he's so big, every time he fucks, it sounds like a gong. Gong. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Obviously, we can't show any of this, on, but, but dude, if you... So the show is called Sex Life, and it's on Netflix. Do you do okay? Just imagine this, guys. Do you know those like old school cans? Those like trick cans where you'd open the can and that like kind of snake thing would pop out of the can. Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. That's his cock. Yeah. Just imagine that. That's that's how big it is. I mean, just making sure my girlfriend doesn't follow him. Hilarious. She oh wait, that was a show. Never mind. Hold on. We might hilarious. No I mean, I, thank God. You know what's interesting is like I would. <laughs> What does DM him say? That real? It is. I mean, at, wait, does he have a girlfriend? Oh, it's a girl from the show. Wait, are they dating? Do you understand the um, difficulty? And now I'm just trying to make myself feel better. But do you understand the difficulty that he has to try to find like a girl that he likes and can take that? I mean, because there's not a lot of women. that That is, that is a monster. That is a sea monster. I know, but like... There's always room for leftovers. No, there's not. Wouldn't you be happy to have that? Then it'd be like, if only there was more. There are women out there, and again, I'm just trying to make us feel better, <laughs> that that like it, that that can't do like that's a that's crazy. Yeah. Like that's not that's not even like, oh, that's a big oh my boyfriend's Dude, a big dick. If that pops up out of the blanket in the middle of the night, I go, Oh, there's two more weeks of winter. <laughs> that bitch, <laughs> he got a crown fucking hog Dude. title. Groundhog. Get him on the podcast, not him, just his cock. Yeah. We need a bigger microphone. I, dude, I yeah, she you know went back to, to pause on it. Did she? Yeah. Oh, well. I think that was just punishment for the first time we were watching a movie and Emily Ronkowski's Rod tits came across. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. For, I went to a restaurant in New York. Lucy Hale was there. You guys know her? Yes, I do. I know that name. Hot lady. Yes, I do. Sitting in the front. Yes, I do. Did I ever bring yeah. up the Lucy Hale story when I was on Punked? She was on it. Yeah. As an actress or somebody getting punked? She was an actress. She was um she was hosting an episode. Oh wow. Bad. Yeah. All the friends? Bad. Yeah. And we, we had some interactions, I will say. Yep. Can't say it, but we'll, we'll we gotta save that for pay well we'll do it on Patreon. I can't say it here. What is this? Did you fuck? Save it. <laughs> Dude, there's just, okay, there's okay. there's there's politics involved in this that I can't. Got it. Anyways, <clears throat> back to the thing. Cock -olist. Yeah. Would you trade your cock right now for that cock? No. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I would not. Yes. I would not. That is a problem dick. No. That's not That's not like a seven, eight inch. That's like a, that, that's, I'm not, that's like 14. Too much. Like this is one that like, it would be, it's like a, you know what it is? <clears throat> it's like a, you go to Six Flags and there's that crazy fucking roller coaster and you're like, I need that. And you ride it one time. It's like fun, but like you're a little nauseous and it's just, you can't ride that well, every day. That's why she tells me, the girlfriend, she literally goes, you have husband dick. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the weirdest compliment. It is a weird compliment, but it, but it, but it but means you see, I see it exactly. Yeah. Because to me, I'm trying to think of like, um, I mean, this is not going to be, this is not going to really resonate with you, but like, it would be like me being like, oh, cool, like big fucking like double D tits and a huge ass. Like, it would be fun one time, but I don't want to like snuggle with that watching Netflix. Right, right, right. Well, it's like talking about having a Lamborghini. You have to take the Lamborghini to Ralph's. Yeah. You got to go to Kroger in the fucking Rari. Yeah, you ever pick up fabric from MJ Design? Mercedes. <laughs> Too hey. much. You're picking up pipe cleaners. Yeah. You need a fucking Rari? <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Here's the thing. I think you uh -oh, would have to, Gabe, you, give it to you me. would have to trade for that dick because no one with my current dick is ever going to Photoshop me into this picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fact that some graphic designer, that he's got such a big dick that some graphic designer made this picture, that's pretty fucking cool. It's cool for 15 minutes. But I'm saying like he has that for the rest of his life. He's got to walk. He's going to have back problems in 11 months. <laughs> That thing, that I think thing. He's doing all right. Do they do I, dick reduction surgery? You have to. He's gonna need to get it. All right. Well, let me get his extra inches. He tosses off. That's Anyways, what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, How many inches I would just, you take more? Two? Oh, huh? I take two more. Sure. Give me two. I don't. Three might be too much. Give me three. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just remember watching it and be like, that has to be CGI. <clears throat> or I thought it was a different guy. What they, if somebody they do online do that. said that was the, there was his hometown friend? Yeah, I just saw a screenshot of a work? comment that was like, hey, because it was in the yearbook next to him. Hey, come on. Probably just like a small Australian town. Stories get around. You know what's crazy about an Australian accent is like you want to fuck them. <laughs> I do think so. No, but I think the weirdest thing is like if I, I adapt to surroundings really quickly. If I'm around a comedian who's Boston for for a while, I start to talk like them. Yeah. Or, or, or you know, uh, when we're doing the road a lot, we have a lot of same banter and dialogue. But people from Australia, they move here and they'll live here for like forty seven years and they still got it. Do you think, like, do you, at what point does it start to wear off? Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. It doesn't seem like it ever wears off for Australians. It, no, it, my, my, my ex said it does because when she's around, like when she's but around. it fires like, up when you're around others. It, it slowly fires up because when yeah. she's around like us, like it, she has the accent. So she's like, I'm Australian. And everyone's like, oh, cool. But when you're around an actual Australian, she says that people are like, you're talking American. Like you do lose it a little bit, and you're then you're there for two, three weeks, and it kind of pick it back up. Got but it. But we don't. I so can't tell because like I don't know. So it's like a watered down version to them. To but them. for us, it's still like. So yeah, you still like a, sound like a fucking idiot didgeridoo. <laughs> Hold on, am I bitter? Yes. God damn. There hasn't been a day gone where I don't think about Raycons. Ladies and gentlemen, you know they are Raycons. They are my favorite Bluetooth pairing and comfortable noise isolating fit earbuds yeah, 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 yeah. that I use listening for hours upon hours. The audio quality is amazing, comparable to what you get from other premium bands, except Raycon starts at half the price. How's the bass? The bass is for your face. Whoa. It, that's exactly how it sounds, all right? And the new everyday earbuds come with three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best with just the right amount of bass. They got pure mode, which what? is great for podcasts, us, podcast, us? or not us, because we're like yep. Yep. blues, instrumentals, any of that. They got balance modes, which, you know, if you're on shuffle, you're hitting that Rogan, and then you're hitting some heavy metal, and then maybe a little bit of Andre Nicotina. Whatever you're listening to, we got it for you. Then they got the bass mode, which is <laughs> hip-hop, EDM, reggae, um, beatboxing. Is beatboxing a channel on Spotify? It, it should be. be. Dude, on TikTok, you <laughs> oh see the motherfuckers beatboxing? I'm like, god damn. Do Dude. that on a pussy. Guys, <laughs> Raycon offers eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. There's also a built-in mic, and you can take calls on your earbuds at the press of a button. So press, press. this holiday season, get them something they can use for calls, music, for work, or play at home or at the gym. Guys, or pick up a pair for yourself. Trust me. Trust us. You're going to use them Every mother effing day. Tell them where to go, Trev. You can go to buyraycon.com slash socks today to unlock exclusive deals up to 20% off your Raycon order. But hurry. Hurry. This, <laughs> <laughs> this offer is available for a limited time only. And you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. That's buyraycon.com slash socks to unlock 20%, up to 20% off your Raycons. Dude, buy what? Raycons. Go. Dot com slash socks. Put bass in your face. Knock your face off. Who are you? No face? Yeah, because I got Raycons. God damn. So they have done one <laughs> one penis reduction surgery. Who was it? Uh, Check. A guy who reported inability to penetrate his partner because his uh, dick was uh, the shape of I'm a sweating. football. The shape of shaped a Shaped like an American football. It was almost, it was seven inches long and had a circumference of 10 inches when flaccid. <laughs> oh. Is Does there that that's not a football. That's a chode. Yeah, is there? If it's bigger than on the side than it is length. Oh shit! Should, they have an X-ray of it here. Yes, have an X-ray. An X-ray. But I thought, what does it look? Oh my Ew, god! That's a sweet potato. <laughs> that literally looks like a fucking yam. Oh yeah, my god! The people that get a dude fit. looks like a bat hanging upside down. <laughs> what the hell? That looks like a fucking cocoon. A butterfly's gonna come out of that. Yeah, center. I thought X-rays only showed bone. Me too. It looks like Squidward, right? His nose. It does look like Squidward's nose. It does nose. look like Squidward. Yeah. So it looks like an avocado. Look you at know the, when you get hair right. transplants, they like take it off your back, your ass, and put it on your hair. Did they take it off the sides and put it on the top? For a uh, that. Oh, like what do they do? For Chody Boy Wonder, did they take off the the girth and put it somewhere else? Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I mean, that's it. that looks that that looks just. I mean, that's terrible. That is awful. Because only not only seven inches. I'd, I'd kill you and give for to be seven inches, but. Uh, <laughs> 
seven is and then seven is and then ten. Ten. In, how do you have enough blood in your body to handle that? Like, would every erection I just pass out? Yeah. How powerful is this guy's heart that he can pump enough blood into that? That cutiness? is his heart. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's. What if they went down there's something stuck in there from childhood, like a super sucker? Oh. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> Too much. Way I am much. very after seeing these two dongs. I'm very happy with my average dong. Very happy. I've but listen, it's, it's so funny. It sounds like, um, and I think to go back to the car analogy, it's yeah. like one you always want what you don't have. Yeah, but I do think it is funny because the amount of times where like, because you, you can hear arguments on both sides, where like every dad who has like a Hyundai Hyundai is like, hey, I don't care about all these other cars. This. This will give me A to B and has zero problems. Good gas it, mileage. It gets the whole family. Fits everyone. Bluetooth. You see the trunk? Yeah. Fits everything. Even my golf clubs can fit in there. No problem. Know? And I just feel like that's what it is when you have like normal, when you got normal dick, you like find, I don't know, it's just it's just funny. You can you, you can make anything. Yeah, you can justify anything. Yeah, exactly. So it's yeah, just yeah, funny because yeah. like the amount of times you've heard people being like, <clears throat> it's a Civic, but like, dude, you got to give these things a try sometimes. And girls are like, cool, I need a Lamborghini Urus on me now when at what point and maybe you're not but at what point were you like this is just my dick and i what well, i gotta stop stressing at college yeah me too i think in high school i was still oh i was Googling freaking how to out. stretch this boy me too well there's little pumpers online i almost ordered one on adamandeve.com 100 i know the do fucking work i don't know but i was gonna order one on page 17 do those work I think I think they what, do. I think they do like for, suction cups. <clears throat> yeah, it's just suction. But I think they do a little bit. But it's not. Uh, what's the word? I'm. Gonna, it's not permanent. So you have to pump up your cockiness every time you you fuck. So then You're trying then, to get a better deal like Verizon, so you pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. Then I then want unlimited texting. But then it's like too oh, much. Oh, this guy's big. Dude, in college, that means I would have to pump my cock up and spray it with numbing spray. I mean, just I'm going through a car wash. <laughs> so yeah. Fuck. Can you believe that, dude? Every single time I fucked, you spray it. I would spray it every time. Every time. I lost my numbing spray. Skin, send me more. I think I did too. Where'd I didn't. It go? I, I never. Huh? Where'd it go? My girlfriend using another boyfriend. <clears throat> what? Yeah. She has another boyfriend. I think so. Okay. She she Are actually good, dude she actually uh, <laughs> she actually uh spends quite a bit of time with this dude who's like insane. <laughs> I know. Uh -oh. Shut it down. <laughs> uh oh. No. Anytime. I mean, that's just yeah. That's, yeah. There's a lot. There's a time. She's like, I'm going to the museum with blah blah blah. A museum. Then they went to a tea room. Tea room. A uh, tea room. What is that Tea for? room. Tits. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Tea room. But she always jokes around. But she's like, Michael, I can't wait for you to meet him. He's like, he's so, she, she, he has a, a girlfriend, but he's like crazy effeminate, he says, or she says, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, but, but I feel like that's like a cover up. Let me tell you something. She goes, she goes, yeah, I'm just going to have like a small dinner for my birthday. I'm going to invite my friend and then, and then him. And I was like, oh, cool. Were you there? I was, she was telling me this, I was in the car. And I was like, cool, cool, your second. Oh, she said it actually. She goes, she goes, yeah, I'm gonna invite blah, 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 my second boyfriend. And I was driving, I said, what'd you say? She goes, uh, what? I'm just talking. And I go, don't fucking joke around with that. What do you mean oh, your second yeah. boyfriend? And she goes, Michael, I can't wait for you to meet him. She was like, Dude, she was like, is, I'm gonna, I'm all gonna. All this is like these rom coms, and they're not yeah. even rom com. There's no com. There's com. Yeah. Rom com. Rom com. Rom it's romantic. They're not even romantic. The, the drama. I was, I was watching the show. I was like, all, all this show is just about people's lives just in shambles. Put on Jim Carrey. This is sad. He's a big cock. Are I you going to leave me? I know, but here's the thing, dude. What are you going to... You, you're going to really watch something where everything's fine and it's like literally I mean, how... personally, how, yeah. No. I pretend the world is not in shambles. All right. No, you ha you know, but I, I, honestly, I kind of do too. Yeah, I say well, on dude, Twitter... I just, I, I, just not, I just scroll TikTok numbless me until 4 a.m. until my eyes are bleeding. I go, time to sleep. Yeah, I can't. I, I, uh, Anyways, yeah. you're in the car. So, what is this dude? How, what's our correlation besides Eskimo Bros? Damn. Uh, sh uh, I honestly don't know. I think they met through like friends of a friend, whatever. But this dude, like, they go to like, you know, museums. They go to like, 
you know, like classy things. And she keeps one. He knows fucking, he just knows like so much. Like we're like walking by like flowers and he just like knows the type of flower it is. And he's just like, tell me. And he's like, fascinating. Blah, blah. And all I'm like, this shit seems like it's from this fucking show. I'm oh, really? Watching. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just like all those like little charms. Yeah. Like this guy, he was Australian. He's hot. He worked for like a record label and he had photos with like Jay-Z and he was yeah. like, and he had all these like Grammys. And it's just like, oh, of course he knows what the fuck a eucalyptus smells like. Yeah, this dude like knows what like photosynthesis is and fucking uses like reads books and stuff. You know what I mean? In my she, he wears suits all the time. Don't wear suits all the time. <laughs> he wears suits all the time. She says but three I, piece I, suits, not like casual suits, but what three do piece for work? suits. I, fuck my girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, Jesus! No, so, I, have you seen photos of him? You know what's interesting? Have you ever? Uh, imagined what someone looks like and you have like a firm grasp what they look like in your I, brain. I think I know what this dude looks like. But I I don't know if it's firm in my brain because she showed me pictures of him or it's a dude I made up in my brain. Does that make Did any she, sense? No. You're on hallucinogenics. <laughs> I like the I'm frog. the guy. <laughs> no, but... Wait, so who's fucking who? Who's on third? <laughs> no, but... Okay. Gabe was sort of on Gabe board. Gabe, laugh harder. <laughs> it's hot in How here, no? <laughs> so I'm sweating. Oh, God. No, all of our girlfriends are cheating on us. Um... I gotta go to Jacksonville. All right. Uh, Why are we going so much? They're getting piped down by dudes with baby arms that knows what a eucalyptus is. And I'm sitting there being, she asked me questions wait, and I'm like, have man. You, have you seen photos of him? So that's my point is. You haven't made one point yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I've seen photos, but also have an imagination. No, I don't. I don't. I have a firm grasp of what he looks like in my brain. But I'm going to be honest. I do not remember if it's so crystal clear in my brain because I may, I, I like, pictured what he might look like or she showed me instagram pictures yeah look up his instagram i don't know his name she doesn't say his name i don't pay attention when she talks <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem maybe no she said his name a bunch i honestly he here's the thing my girl she has so many friends okay yeah that she likes i'm hanging out with them and i'm just yeah, like yeah, i don't i can't i can't yeah. keep up i cannot keep up um but what he, is that what is is that just insecurities because i get that too She'll be like, oh, I'm hanging out with, with my spin cycle uh, coach. Can't Him do and his that. wife are coming. Can't do that. Too in shape. What, are you going to cuck the situation? <laughs> Tell me what you're doing. Um, no, I th honestly, like, I if we're being, like, off funny for a second, I really do, I really do like, trust their relationship. I, don't, I, ha I honestly have no problem with it. But it right, is, but what's like... what's that initial, like, huh? You know what it is? It's insecurity that he provides, um, what's the word? Not steadiness. That's the dumb version of what the word I'm... Uh, um, not steadiness. He stability? provides, thank you. He provides stability because he's here all the time. And I'm insecure about how not stable I am based on the fact that I'm gone so much. Oh, and it's only weird because you're like gone. I'm gone and he's like, I'm in he's there. fucking Fort Worth and you're with blank. And you're with blank and he works a nine to five. And like, truthfully, like schedule wise, I don't think like he's the right dude for her, but like schedule wise, I, that would work better for her. Like his schedule will work better for your girlfriend. Do you right, know what I mean? Right, right, it's like, right. it would just, it would, they work nine to five and they, they get, might get yeah. brunch. And then it, like, so all of that would work. I don't think there's anything. I, I'm not like worried about it, but like there is that 10% of me that's like, fuck. I mean, it's like, essentially it's like, he's the, he's the pseudo me when I'm gone. Cause she's like, I need yeah, to like yeah. spend, I need to go to museums and I need to go to lectures and stuff. Did I tell you guys? What happened somewhat recently? No. About, uh, I mean, very vague, but no. I found... Uh-oh. Where was I coming back from? It doesn't... No one... I don't know. I don't know calendars. Comedy on the road. Yeah. We got to start saying that. We've been coming back from comedy on the road. I was doing shows, and I was unpacking my stuff. It's a Monday. She's at the office. Uh-oh. <clears throat> and I... For uh -oh. whatever reason... Yeah. I go into the guest bathroom. Okay. Cause I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll switch it up. I'll pee in here. Better view. Yeah. And I see a, uh oh, like a toiletry bag. And I look in the bag and there's no old spice <laughs> deodorant, a razor and Axe body spray. I was losing my mind. Oh, it's over. But, but here's the thing. I'm packing all her shit into a lawn and a leaf bag, putting it on the front lawn, putting gasoline all over it, lighting it on fire. What are you doing? Fourth of July. This bitch cheated on me. Dude, I saw this uh -huh. in the middle of the day. Uh-oh. She was at work, and I was like, I'm not going to blow up her phone. I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm going to wait till we get till she gets home so we can have a cool and collected wow. conversation, I'm which gonna... took a lot. 
I'm gonna go to her office. That's therapy trev. Betterhelp.com. Promo code is she cheating on me? Axe body spray 13. Yes. So be, yeah, because also, and here here's also a, a weird part is like I wanted to because if you're texting with somebody, yeah, you you got time to think. Mm-hmm. But if this is and dude, I was on some. I, I had and we talked about it, and you know, I'm I'm but I had every range of emotion that went through me. Yeah. I was like, that's it. We're done. I also had the, man, fuck this. How's she going to do this to me? And then I was like, man, whatever. I'm a, I don't care. Yeah. And I then, got hoes. And then, I'm yelling out the window. People are like, this man's crazy. And the pigeon's like, man, shut up. Because what it was for me was the Axe body spray. Where's the Where's the murder? Where's Axe the murder? Where's the murder spray. feeling? No murder? I'm going to no, the no, office. No, 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 my, no. Everyone's catching bullets. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, for me, it's like, <laughs> no, because because instead of shooting up a school, I'm gonna shoot up some pussy. Hey, hey, I'm hey. busting newts in you the goots. Can do both. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, <Wow. Yeah. laughs> but I I just had every range of emotion in me, and then when she got home, it took so. Like the transition was so hard for me not to be like, hey, how was work? Who are you fucking? It was like, hey, how you doing? And then she like did something and I was like, hey, can I ask you something? Whoa, I even the way you said that, I got chills. Go ahead. I was like, hey, I was in the guest bathroom. Oh, damn. And because I wanted to, because you know what I was saying with texting, you can feel, you can feel like you can space it out. What do I say? This and that. I wanted to feel it real. Because then if I ask a question, it's like, oh, um, well, uh, you know, it's so it's like, oh, and the shower's broke. Yeah. And then Roderick, and you're like, oh, Roderick, a.k.a. the name of every big dong dude out there. But she goes, and then immediately I say, oh, the guest bedroom, I saw a shower bag. And she goes, oh, my God, I forgot to tell you that. And then she goes, yeah, you remember when uh, my mom and her boyfriend stayed here two weekends ago? Yeah, I texted her a photo of this, and I go, hey, is this um, so-and-so's? And she had the text immediately. Oh, thank God. And it was it was the... It was her mom's boyfriend. Yeah. And she had already texted the mom about it, asking like, hey, whose is this? And I was like, oh my God. Wow. What a relief. Also. I was almost more surprised. I was like, this man is like 52. Why the fuck is he using Axe body spray? Can I say this? Next question. Did you fuck the dad? (laughs) But they both (laughs) stayed in that room. The mom and and the boyfriend. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh man, it what a was, relief though, bro. It was, <clears throat> what? because I was trying to like get work done, but that was still in the back of my There's head. There's no way you're doing work. At one point I just laid down on the bed and just stared at the ceiling with my cat next to me and be like, it's just me and you, Polito. <laughs> yeah, that's the pressure. <laughs> it's just me and you, mama's a whore. <laughs> and she's not, she's a great lady. She's not but, at all. But, but we were talking about insecurities and it's like, I hate that my brain goes to that place because I, it's like, I tell myself I trust her, and then these moments happen. But finding Axe body spray with a razor and Old Spice, I mean, at that point, I, I thought I would have found gauges and the keys to a fucking Subaru Outback or something, you know, or, or an Escalade on 22s. Yeah, here's was, the funny thing. the <clears throat> Her mom's boyfriend, I've met once. He looks like he's doing great. I um, mean, yeah, Stone Cold <clears throat> Fox. I mean, dude, the first time I met him, because your new place the sunlight through those windows is astronomical. So it was hitting his eyes as yeah. soon as I was like, I walked in, it was before I saw you guys. I didn't even know where you guys were. He was sitting on the couch and I was like, am I in the wrong place? Yeah. Also, is this a porn? Also, I'm fine if it is. Oh yeah. This guy's hot wearing a suit. He's hot. He acts young. Tall. He, he like the second the menu gets there, he's like, I'm thinking dessert first. What do you guys think? And I'm like, is everybody just cool and fuckable these days? Yeah. Also, can you be my dad? Yeah, he 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 goes. He's a first name basis guy, like just a just a home run hitter, just a so, crush. So after all that, yeah, she was. Why the him. fuck are you wearing Axe body spray? I don't know. You stone cold loser. I mean, my, my guess is he has kids that are like you know eighteen and like twenty or something. So I'm, I'm sure he yeah. was like leaving the house and just grabbed that, or yeah. <clears throat> was at a convenience store and just grabbed it on the way out from Seven Eleven, or. It wasn't him at all. That whole text was photoshopped, and she's banging a 22-year-old named Roderick. I think that. God damn. Christmas is coming. Ho, ho, ho. Where are the mother effing hoes? All right, you're listening or watching right now, and you're probably wondering how I look this good all the time. I'm hot with a big ass... 
cock. And if you were here, you'd be wondering how I smell this good all the time. Trev, do I smell good? The answer is Hawthorne, yes. <laughs> Hawthorne's grooming products are my answer when I want to look good, feel good, smell good, fuck good. Hawthorne is a premium men's grooming brand that makes it quick and easy to be confidentially your best with skin care and health, hair care, health care. Con uh, confidently. Hawthorne is a premium men's grooming brand that makes it quick and easy to be conf <laughs> confidently your best. See, I'm not confident because I'm not wearing Hawthorne today like a fucking idiot. All right. I look like if Conan was in an anime. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, be dude, confident need... with your best skincare Ugh. and hair care made just for you. All right, they'll use your data from hundreds or thousands of customers to recommend perfect products for your body chemistry. My body. Yo, body. Skin type, hair type, and lifestyle, okay? Whether you're a virgin or a whore. I don't know, like you could go to Target and, and overprice and be like, oh, I hope this works for me. Or you could get stuff that is tailored to your grooming routine full of products that are still yep. affor affordable. And you know that's that's Hawthorne. So right. lean on Hawthorne. Lean on me to upgrade your body wash, shampoo, deodorant, fragrances, colognes, literally anything. But but how, how do you do it? You take a freaking quiz. You it's not quiz, but, it's but not it's the not GMAT. One of those quizzes. It's not the L stats. Yeah. All right. You take a quiz. You answer some questions. How often do you shower? How yeah. often do you use hair product? Yeah. X Y Z. Blah blah blah. You answer these questions. Super simple. And they come out the other end with customized men's freaking skin hair products. It's incredible. They have cologne. We got some. We freaking love it. All right. Hawthorne stands by their customers. So if you're not completely satisfied, they'll retail your products for free based on your feedback and pay for shipping. No, they're they great, dude. We, we have all their stuff. I wear their cologne all the time. They send me two colognes. One says work. One says for play. And I like literally run it through my head. I'll be yeah. like, what am I about to go do? Am I doing work or am I doing play? Dude, dude freaking, sex sometimes is I work both, so hard that my work is play. What? Hey. Yeah. So, Anyways, look, guys. You know me, love them, Hawthorne. They were one of the first sponsors on the podcast. They've been with us for many moons. So, look, go out there today. Holidays are coming up. Get this for your dad, your brother, your boyfriend, your lover at bars. And just go to <laughs> Hawthorne.co. Yep. No M. Hawthorne.co. How do you spell Hawthorne? H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E. Horny. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. Horn, 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 dot com. All right, Hawthorne eight, eight, dot com. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hawthorne <laughs> dot co. No M. Ten percent off. Use promo code socks. Promo code socks. Hawthorne dot co. Promo code socks. Ten percent off. Go. Goddamn. But I'll tell you what. The emotions. Oh, because here, because here's the thing. If I opened that shower bag and had Giorgio Armani, I'd be like, okay, more reasonable. Probably a club promoter, but more reasonable. Yeah. Oh, so you're so if you saw like nice stuff in there, like oh, Hawthorne, think, well, you yeah, well, nice. <clears throat> also, if it wasn't a straight razor blade and it was like clippers, yeah. Dads love a good pair of clippers. It does or aftershave, just something to give an age to it. This nothing about this was like this is a gentleman's. All oh, this was I like see what you're I'm saying. in town from San Diego State. Who's trying to get this fucking pipe Ola? I see what you're saying. I play lacrosse. My cock gets yeah, dude, hard. Dude, I literally thought it was like, like, a, like, and dude, my brain was going everywhere. I was like, maybe one of her exes was in town. Yeah. And and he just had a backpack with him because hot guys always only carry a backpack. Yeah, because they always need to be transient because they're yeah, too hot to stay hot in one place. With fucking luggage? No, they got backpack. And that's it. They got a MacBook back there. Yep. They got fucking half a bottle of freshly squeezed orange juice. And then they got a bag of toiletries. And, and then just whatever clothes they want to fuck off of. Everything is leather. Yeah. And they got leather. They, 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 got, they got one ring. And for some odd reason, they got an index finger <sighs> ring. And it's fine. Yeah. And it's fine. And they always got a backpack because they got to be transient because you can't be hot in one place. And, and they don't fuck even. fuck and you move on. And they don't have any money. They just walk into LAX. They go, I would like a ticket to Boston. And some the, uh, United yeah. goes, you're hot. I literally have Here a buddy go. exactly like this. Yes. I go, too. when's your flight home? He goes, I don't know yet. If you book a place to a big city, Los Angeles, Boston, New York, Chicago, and you go, oh, I don't know yet. You fuck. Yeah. Every time I booked a city, I'm like, oh, I'm out of here on Sunday. I'm out of here on Sunday. Where's my hotel? Because this dude stays until he nuts. He doesn't have a hotel. He doesn't have a job. No job. You know what his job is? Fucking. Fucking. Yeah. Because for me, back when I was single, I'd be like, I'm leaving Sunday. If I get any Friday or Saturday night. Hooray, confetti, confetti. Bop, bada, bop, bop. I'm bop, coming. Bop. But for this guy, it's like, oh, I ain't leaving until yeah. the nut is a squeezing. 
but it's not even I ain't leaving. He knows it's happening. All he got to do is just get well, himself well, yeah, into but, a bar or a club. Dude, these, these types of guys that I think we're thinking about on the same page here is like they, they find these like two-week loves and then yeah. they just dip. And then these women forever think about that one like fling they had with the guy uh, from like, you know, somewhere in the outskirts of like San Diego, like en- Encinitas. And you're like, whoa. Yeah, he's wearing a beanie. Yeah, he, he, he was really good at longboarding. He fucks with a beanie on. Yeah. All the, the time. The long beanies too. Yeah. I she mean, always thinks about the time where he was on top and he was fucking her so hard that as she came, the beanie kind of shimmied off. Yeah. And then the hair came out and it was all luscious and shit. And then she came all over his dick. Yeah. And then he then he made her a sandwich on a croissant. And then he looked out the Vegemite. window. With Vegemite. And, and yeah, he looked out the window and he said something like dumb but also philosophical. And he's like, <clears throat> birds are just, you know, gravity says you got to land, but birds say nah. And she's like, I don't know what that means, but yeah. she made me come four times in 13 minutes. I think that's what it is. Some, so Women act like they don't get fucking cock whipped. They do. <laughs> cock whipped? Yeah. Am I missing something here? Like, yeah, you know how people get pussy whipped? Oh, yeah, okay. You know, yeah. People like do everything for fucking hot oh, vagina. I'm talking about cock whipped. Yeah. Penis whipped. They do. Yeah. Coming out the bathroom, Anyways, legs I, shaking. Yeah, I will just say that was the biggest wild range of emotions I think I've ever felt. But the <clears> relief. <throat> yeah. Because I, I had, when I asked that question, I got to ask you something. I had no idea where that was going to go. No. Were you wearing a suit? Like you, it was like, a, it was like a trial? I was probably wearing Ugg slippers. Gray sweatpants. Cock <laughs> out. Opposite. All right. How long did you have before you, About she six came out? That's, That's true. Long, it was like 12 to 6. Yeah. And, and I, I like wrote it out my th- and then I like deleted it. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? She's at work. I don't want to cause any stress. I don't want to. But dude, it was. And we just moved in together. Yes. Yeah, like, so what are we? Who, who, who? How does rent work? Be like extra. I mean. Who gets I, the cat? I mean, I'm moving in. Yeah. yeah. We're recording the podcast down there now. Well, that's your dream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was. And, and we, we. I'm glad we got to laugh about it later. But um, I do think that there is. Some, it is harder to. It's harder to be more secure about your thoughts when you are, because if I only was in Los Angeles and didn't travel, I'd be with her so much. I'd be like, yeah, there's no room for this. There's no room. But I think when you travel and you watch these movies, mm-hmm. my brain just as an anxiety ridden fucking boy who had a bar mitzvah a while ago, my, my brain just always goes to the worst place. And that's something I do want to work on. And because it's not even something about her, it's on me. Yeah. She's not giving clues that she's cheating. But it's like, you know, instead of seeing an axe spray, I could have seen Hubba Bubba on the ground and be like, well, what are you, fucking a circus clown? Did you, I think the answer to this is yes, but have you, like, when you were younger, uh, you know, up and coming in terms of dating, you had a few, like, run-ins with certain girls that probably fucked your trust up with just the female gender. What do you mean? Just like, like, like they're only doing it for, like, attention or just to no be no like, like when, when you were like younger younger like in your uh in your more like uh not transparent years in, in in the years that like kind of molded your foundation of like your your interactions with women i'm saying like in uh, high school when you first started oh, dating no. like no, 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 you, you no. never I, had any you never no, had any because like, I, I this is the longest relationship i've had by a landslide the longest i dated before this was like three months but i'm not even talking about dating i'm talking about like trusting what a female is saying just in terms of like feelings didn't you have like a prom thing or like i've had little things but uh, but i what i'm saying is i, I think, think it's the, more so i hear like horror stories and be like, i think that's gonna happen to me but i'm what i'm trying to figure out right now is why does your brain work like that and i think I there's know. i think there's little things in your like dating past that you might label as small that probably is influencing well, for me the biggest thing is the fear of what happens to others you know like i i was so against getting a business manager for so long yeah because i uh, the only time you ever hear stories about business managers is like stole it was like dane cook's brother stole like 20 million dollars yeah, fucking yeah. uh what's her name i mean there's so many massive singer you know i forget her name starts with an a uh i don't fucking know uh, alicia keys no atlantis uh, morissette atlantis morissette she had a business manager who took like fucking bags from her yeah, yeah so it's like from my head it's not even a personal thing it's like i hear about it in the world and that's why when you see movies like this and you hear yeah. stories like this and people write in about like 
yeah, my husband is on trade shows, but I'm fucking somebody else. And yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's that's what gets to me. It's it's the fact of knowing that things like that can happen. That's why my anxiety is at a ten. It's nothing the person that I'm with is currently doing. Right. It's just knowing that these things out there do it's, happen. It's an to option. People. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where my brain goes. You know, what's so funny is my brain literally goes. If I'm being like off funny again, my brain literally goes the opposite. Really? Unless you give me one inclination, sweating, and then it is over. Like I get, like I'll I'll trust everyone a million percent in there till there's one moment and it is d- like done. There's no yeah. like, oh, we'll work on it. No. Well, in time, in terms of what? In terms of like trust. Like, I'm trying to give like a, um. Because I feel like with our relationship, there's been so many times where college Trevor, aka piece of shit, aka just like douchebag frat guy, would just jump ship. One thing. Ah, oh, well that. That goes with what I don't believe, and I'm out. Yeah, yeah. But so many times this relationship, we would fight or something. But now the fights are are short because I, I'm a genius and I go to therapy and I'm elite and I'm probably the smartest <laughs> person uh, in this room. But, oh, <laughs> without a doubt, dude. <laughs> but now I can like look at it and be like, okay, what's realistic here? Why is this a thing? Is this are we mad at each other? Or are we both mad at work? And now we are in the room together and we butt heads and blah yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah blah. So now I can find. But I'm just wondering, like. Like, what's an example of something with trust? Because I think now everything that happens, we can work through it and like we'll talk through it. Unless it's something that obvious where you're like, oh, there's a guy named Xander texting you at 3 a.m. And you're like, oh, that's my Verizon guy. Is it? What else is he raising? Is it? Yeah. How's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Direct TV. He's directly fucking you. Yeah. Okay? So don't like obvious signs. Yes. But yeah. but. There's n- there's never been anything, and she's great. So it, when she listens to this, please don't have your guns drawn at me. But um, I do think it is a little weirder just because you hear things out there, and then I always go to the worst place. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let me say it, it's you said it's something you definitely want to work on, and you'll you'll fucking figure it out for sure. Your therapist sounds incredible, by the way. He's got an accent. Does hot. he? Hot. I heard that he's hot. I don't even know where he's from, but he's got a good accent. Doesn't even matter. No. No. I think he's from Motherf- Santa Fe, New Mexico. I don't know. Yeah, motherfucker sounds like a xylophone. Let's do it. Well, honestly, I had so much goddamn fun in this episode. This episode was all over the place. Started off high and kind of just like <clears throat> but I, but I, it out. But I love the, the best episodes. Yeah. I love when mm-hmm. there leads like, a lot of a lot of a lot of yeah. hot dudes dong for an hour. You know what I forgot? We gotta do sock talk. Sock talk time. I forgot. Shut it down. Whoa. Sock talk, cock talk. Where do you talk? Uh, yeah, run it. All right, cool. We got a submission here. This is from Andy. I hate how wet these fucking cups get. Yeah, There's it's crazy. That, they have to sense. invent. Double and still. They have to invent something. Because this is this is stupid. Yeah. This is dumb. And then you put it down. Fuck your table up. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God, dude. Just a wet bitch. They need better ice than Starbucks. If Starbucks had Chick-fil-A ice, they'd be elite. They are elite. What am I talking about? What, Chick-fil-A? Starbucks. Starbucks is elite. You didn't, you didn't talk about your Starbucks uh, re- reserve story, whatever. We'll talk about it on Patreon. Oh, God. Um, all right. This is a submission from Andy, and he says, In my junior year of high school, I broke my patella and tore my meniscus. Um, this motherfucker's just naming cities in Greece. Yeah. It all looks like <laughs> shit in the knee from my Googling. But uh, anyway, so he, had to, he was on crutches for two months, had to attend the Tucson Mariachi Conference on crutches. Uh, I looked like a fool hopping around on stage. Uh, and then I ended up laying pipe that weekend with one good leg. Yeah, there is Hell something yeah. about an injured man. I mean, it's it's like <clears throat> it's not peacocking, but it is. You know, peacocking where it's like yeah, yeah, you yeah. stick out at the bar. It's like there is something where oh, there's a guy on crutches. Watch out! Oh, goddamn! Watch out! It's that, and I think it's a combination of a, a little p- pity fuck. Not Could that he be. doesn't. Do, not that Could he's not be. hot. That's why I, I wear my Boy Scout uniform to bars. Really? Yeah. All right. It doesn't fit very well. I think it probably fits perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My penis has stayed the same size. You know what's crazy? I just thought about a like a, a girl in a like a woman in a Boy Scout outfit. <laughs> hot. Clip it. You have to. That's yeah, not hot to anyone. A Girl Scout uniform. Hey, you want thin mints? Yeah. Yeah, but all like the achievement and like the little like patches are just like little red wagons beach balls yeah we gotta change those come yeah. spot okay you know what i mean highest achiever origami 
what the hell we do? Oh, <clears throat> but I think I think it's a I think women. I'm painting with a broad brush here, obviously, but I think women like to be like, oh, an injured an injured man. I want to like help him, nurse him back to hell. nurse him back to yeah. help. Yeah. I did it. I put on. Uh, uh, I got. I had to find crutches when I was in like eighth grade because my I got I sprained my foot. My doctor said you don't need crutches, yeah. and I thought to myself how cool I would look on crutches and how yeah. much sympathy I would get from women. Um, so I had to go like borrow them from a friend that had broken his leg, but it didn't it didn't do me any good. It didn't work. No, there was always a girl in high school. She always played for the softball team, and this is just generically speaking. But there's always a girl on the softball team. Same girl. She was injured like every all four years of high school, but she still played. She's like, are you injured? And she would just wear. It. And, the, and nobody loved complaining more about being late to class and people on crutches. Rightfully so. But them motherfuckers would make a scene coming scene. into class. Like just clinking and banging shit on. Sorry, I had to come from hall C to hall B. And you're just like, we get it. And like why it. do all the crutches sound like an old pirate ship? They're like, huh? Huh? get new crutches. They're all fucking broken. I mean, I. but to be fair, I would milk the shit out of that shit too. I wouldn't go to I'd school. I'd be in Spanish class and be like, I broke everything. Lo siento. My brain hurts. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there was always one person. And I, everybody can picture that person in high school was like on crutches all four years. And and then at graduation, they just walked fine. You're like, what? You were on crutches yesterday. Yeah, I always wanted a, a cast. Never yeah. got one. Always wanted one. I wanted one people to sign it. I what? remember I like jammed my pinky in the door and it didn't break or anything. It yeah. probably just bruised. But, yeah. I, but I was like, I went to CVS and I got a like, pinky cast because I was like, People want to fuck me. Did anyone sign it? <laughs> the pinky cast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing more sad in my brain than going being in high school, breaking like a leg or an arm, and it's like nobody signed it. Oh, my God. That you is got, the You got to fake thing. a few. Oh, I, oh I'm going. Like Red Robin on it. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Ruben stuttered. <laughs> I'm going to go to like a fucking amusement park and just be like, someone. Yeah. Anyone. Help. I'll give you $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign it. I'll be like, oh, so, yeah, hey, can you test? I'm just going to go to the bank and be like, hey, can you test if that pen works for this check? Just try it right here. Yeah, just go to the Hallmark store. I'd like to try all these pens, please. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> Write your number. That's like, actually a like, hot way to give someone your number. Hell. You know what a hot, oh, sign in the cast with a number? Do you know what, what a hot way I just, just, just thought about to give a number? You know how, like, sometimes if we're, like, uh, uh, exchanging, like, um, clips on the airplane and we're just sort of yeah, like oh, airdropping airdrop. if yeah. you airdrop your number uh, yeah, to somebody I think you can do that that's hot airdrop some shit airdrop some notes also he said he fucked with one leg that's impressive because you can't get a ton of leverage one and a half leg if you count that Cock. why is this podcast not number one on the spotify charts <laughs> i think it will be i don't know i don't know but this fucking podcast is that hater um all right guys let's do a secret talk Go this ahead. is an anonymous submission that Dave, says what's your uh, address <laughs> Uh, fuck, that was my real one. I should <laughs> edit that out. All right, here Dox we go. Him. Uh, this is an anonymous submission that says, I had sex with a girl in my college's planetarium after a Halloween <laughs> party. What's a planetarium? You know those, uh, those they're almost like a movie theater, but you go in and you lay down and they show oh, the stars on the ceiling. That's yeah. a hot place. Damn. Uh, had sex with a girl in my college's planetarium after a Halloween party. I found out later that she had been dating one of my best friends for months before this. She had just dumped him the day before and I was her rebound. See, this is why I have trust issues. Yeah, but no, they, they already broke up, though. If you and your girl broke up, I mean, you wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All I heard was exes and girlfriends and boyfriends and people fucking under the stars. No, no, no. So he fucked this girl in the planetarium after a Halloween party, which is very specific, and I love it. I, I want him to be dressed like Dracula. She's dressed like a, poke, a, peak, a yeah, poke, Pikachu. It's almost like Halloween didn't have much to play into it. No, no, no. It did. What were they dressed up as? It's a good question. I wish I knew. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, so, he, so, so he, he banged a girl. So he banged and he found and found out the next that day his that homie was, dated her a while back. Like, yes. No, like no, no they broke recently. up. The, re, but wouldn't you but know? If it, yeah, if it's a homie. Oh yeah, she fuck? dumped him the day before. You would know. Oh, oh they're done. But he, it sounded like he didn't know though. He didn't. Know. You would know if your homie. Yeah, that I, is I think, weird. I think it's a loose homie, and it's probably this relationship is probably a loose. You would know. Homie. He says one of my best friends. Yeah, you would know the scent of your best friend on her breath. You're like Kevin. Yeah. So that the only thing that this seems like that is that if he thought he was sleeping with his friend's girlfriend, he knew what he was doing. Damn. That's why he wanted to be anonymous. It all makes sense now. I just want to know what their costume was. I don't know if he knew or not. I mean, if it's your you best friend, to. bro. What if he didn't know it was her? What if she was in a costume with a mask on or something? Oh, shit. Whoa. She was like a ghost. And he's like, you're my boo now. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm a committee All genius. Right. <laughs> we just dropped to number two on Spotify. <laughs> um, um, Gabe, what day is it? Where am I? Is my father okay? 
He's probably giving chicken fingers to random people on the street. <laughs> Why was there always a motherfucker on Halloween who was like giving out hot dogs? <laughs> Where's this gonna go in my pillowcase? And always do it being like, well, we're helping you out. I don't want a bacon wrapped hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Hank, I want a goddamn sweetest fish. Was that the I episode? Yeah, that's the episode. All right. All right. It's literally a lake of water from these Starbucks. Cups. Lick it. Alright guys, this is 14 hours long. Guys, I say this every episode, I don't give a shit, influencer talk, blah blah blah, but listen, uh, go on iTunes and Spotify, rate, subscribe, and review, it really helps us out, it really helps us get in front of new people, so please do that. Um, also, a uh, big announcement, we, uh, we're doing for 8,000 patrons, we decided what our goal is going to be, and it's going to be, drum roll, blah 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 blah, Gabe is going to get a tattoo of a Yaris. Dude, we're gonna for 9K, it. we should do a tattoo of the yards being blown up. Fuck oh, yeah, shit. dude. Well, or for, for 9K, Michael waxes his asshole. Hot take. I, I think that one. Okay. So what eight, if... All right. It's Michael getting his asshole waxed inside the yards is getting blown up in a tattoo. In, in a tattoo. Seems very detailed, but let's do it. I know a guy. So, 8,000, Gabe is going to get, once we reach 8,000 patients, Gabe is going to get a tattoo of yours, hilarious, and uh, 9,000, I am going to get my asshole waxed. So, Patreon, let's get there, baby. Um, guys, thank you so much. Peace, peace and love and all that stuff. Go get jerked off by a windpipe.